Hi, my name is Hitchcock and I'm three years old. For the first time in my life, I am about to embark on a long journey. But before I tell you where the trip will lead, let's look back to when I was just a puppy. When I was young, I was always a curious dog with a zest for life. In other words, a true Scottish Terrier. Hitch is what I'm usually called. I live with three other Scotties in an incredibly beautiful region of Switzerland. We go through thick and thin together. Bettina is my two-legged friend. She can almost read my mind. She takes such good care of all of us, giving us her love, patience and time. Mike is also part of our clan. He's usually running around with a movie camera. He loves us dearly too. We're often his models and we've gotten pretty good at it by now. I enjoy doing almost everything imaginable because I am in love with life. This is my dog family. Flash is an adventurous little dog and such a cuddle bug. Camilla is a real water baby and she especially loves anything that flies. She shows me things that are so much fun to do, but also some things that one shouldn't do. And then there's Scully, who's getting on in years. I love her so much. On every walk we take, she brings up the rear. She gets wiser every day. Do you know about agility? It's my biggest passion. It's a lot like show jumping for horses. An obstacle course that must be completed as quickly as possible, in the right order and without any faults. Jumps, tunnels, dog walks, a slalom course and more. Agility is just fantastic. As a Scotty, I'm actually rather exotic in this particular sport. Dog breeds like Parson Russell Terrier, Sheltie, Papillon or Poodle are almost unbeatable competition since they're often lighter and longer legged than I am. But we compete anyway because it's just so much fun for us. I even qualified for the European Open last spring, which was a minor sensation. That's because for the first time in history, a Scottish Terrier earned the right to represent his country at the International Agility Championships. It's incredible that we made it. And so my story continues on July 21st leaving our country village to go out into the big wide world. Off to the Czech Republic, where the EO 2010 will be held. I'm beginning to understand why I needed to learn how to ride the train lately and had to get used to being around noise and big crowds. Now I know about that, and I'm not afraid at all anymore. Yippee! A bedroom on wheels! This is going to be fun! Ooh, this new scenery, these lights, this sky, it's all so exciting. I must already be so far away from home. I've been in the train all night. I really have to get out. OK, I know it's not proper, but what was I supposed to do? Pee in the train? I'm getting hungry. Yum, does that ever smell good? Wow, this is a new world for me. 
I think we're almost there. Unbelievable. All these legs, smells, colors and sounds. It's really funny to see the crazy things humans surround themselves with. What's this now? Well, it doesn't seem edible. Oh my goodness, what a huge stadium and field. Is this where I'm supposed to do agility? Was that the reason we took this long journey? This is just like sacred turf. It will be a great space to run on. Is it all just for me? So great, all these nice dogs and friendly people from all over the world. This seems to be a very important event. these people are looking right at me. I think this really is all about me. Hey, can you see me? Here I am. Hooray! This whole thing isn't just a dream after all. It really is all for the agility. Finally, I get to train for my big day tomorrow. Oh my gosh, look at this rain. But luckily, I'm waterproof. So, as far as I'm concerned, we can get started right away. Our handlers are doing a walkthrough of the course during the briefing, so they can show us the right way afterwards. Finally, it's starting. It's almost my turn. Now it's getting serious. I need to really concentrate. Oh boy. Ah, did that bar have to tumble? But what can you do when the rain is streaming into your eyes? Well, at least we finished. Just look at those torpedoes. It's amazing how they just fly over the obstacles. qualify for the finals, we need a very fast zero-fault run. We have to go all out and risk everything.
Yay, zero faults. I like this a lot better. Whew. Feels good to take a break. I like watching the other dogs. Some of them are so sweet. Others are very fashion conscious. Some like to flirt, like me. And still others are jealous. Or greedy, and even a bit rude. And now comes the team competition, where I run along with three other dogs in a team. Off we go, this is fun. of place out of 88 teams. Not bad at all. Not quite good enough to qualify for the finals in singles. Too bad about the bar, but that's sports. And our coach Nicola and Twister are defending their EO title from last year. Good luck. Twister did it! For the second time she has been named the European Champion with Nicola. What an honour for our country! I may not have become the European champion, but I am the first Scottish Terrier who ever made it to an international competition. We can certainly be a little proud of that. This competition has really left its mark. But the marks will go away and the wonderful memories will remain. And one can always still dream of achieving lofty goals. I wonder what lovely things the future will bring. I'm only three years old after all, still very young. Time here was so great, and now I'm looking forward to the trip home. I'll always carry these memories in my heart. Whatever one does, it's not the result that counts, but the enjoyment gained from doing it. Then success will come on its own. Dreams are often more beautiful than reality. But life is beautiful too, and I want to enjoy it to the fullest. <laughs>